Hi, Sister Scaleback coming in with my seven month surge anniversary. Friday the 16th will be my seven months. Today is actually Wednesday the 14th. Yes, 14th. Um, and it's update time. So, to give you real quick stats, I started the journey last year at 361 was my highest weight. I had surgery June 16th, 2014 at Toronto Western Hospital in Toronto, Ontario, Canada with Dr. O'Kranick as the surgeon. Terrific man. Um, at that time of surgery, I was 339. And last week I came to you with a weight of 271. And this week I am 266. So I've lost five pounds since last week. Um, actually, I lost that five pounds a few days ago and, uh, and I've just stayed the same. But 266 means I'm only five pounds away from 100 pounds lost from my highest weight. So I'm over the moon. I never really truly believed that I could get to 100 pounds lost. I know everybody goes through that. It's, it's, it's a very... It's a big mental game and uh, you play with yourself. <sighs> I, I just want to assure everyone out there who thinks that it's not going to happen to me, it will happen to you. I promise you it will. It does happen. Um, one thing I want to point out to pre-ops who are watching this. In the beginning, you watch a lot of videos and you watch say one person's videos from their highest weight and you might do a marathon and watch you know six ten videos of theirs and you see them progress and get down to 100 pounds lost quickly at least in your mind it seems quickly because you're watching those videos all at once i want you to keep in mind it does not happen overnight <laughs> so in the beginning the first month or two post-op you feel pretty um, disappointed sometimes that it's not coming off as fast as you thought it would. And really, it is. It's, it's just as fast as the videos you were watching. But video clips happen in three or four minute increments, um, you know, weekly. And so it seems a lot faster in the videos than it does in real life um, in the first few months. But it all adds up. And within seven months, to have lost 100 pounds is, you know, phenomenal. Just phenomenal. Um, I didn't average that out, but I think it's around 12 pounds a month. Is that right? Seven, 70, okay, 15 pounds a month maybe? I'm not sure. Somewhere in there. Um, which averages about two to three pounds a week. And two to three pounds a week does not sound like a lot but it adds up. So keep that in mind whenever you're watching videos out there. Um, just like on TV, you know, things don't get conveyed properly in a two minute soundbite. Same thing on YouTube. Uh, so that's enough with my preaching. I think you'll notice I'm wearing different glasses. Uh, my other glasses that I love broke. And they broke a few times. I super glued them the first time and they broke again. So it looks like I'm gonna have to get some new glasses. These ones just do not frame my face. They're very, they're very plain. Uh, so yeah, so look forward to me, you know, buying some, I think I'm gonna go with color. I'm, I'm very into color lately. You wouldn't know it today, I'm wearing black, but, <laughs> but I am more and more wearing colorful clothes, which uh, I think is part of the confidence and the good feels that you get about losing weight. Yesterday I wore hot pink polka dots. So I'll post a picture at the end of this video to show you my seven month picture uh, wearing the hot pink. Um, <clears throat> I would not have been caught dead in that shirt <laughs> a few years ago. As a matter of fact, a few years ago when I did try that shirt on, the arms were so tight I couldn't wear it. It was just, it was hurting me to wear it in the arms and now it's so loose it's it's actually a little big um so many things have changed in seven months you know i can bend down i was looking through a bottom cupboard the other day for tupperware i have i used to sell tupperware and i have a cupboard that's overflowing with tupperware and i was rifling through bent over and i must have been there five minutes or so and my husband made a comment you know 
you realize you've just been bent down there for five minutes, you never would have been able to do that. And it's true. I would not have. As a matter of fact, I would have asked him to do it. So many things that I'm able to do now that I couldn't do before. Um, I get bored now and I'll do laundry and dishes just for something to do. Whereas before, I'd hum and haw and, and eventually get him to do it. Um, I can, my stamina, my stamina for walking, for shopping um, is unbelievable compared to what it used to be. I can shop for hours now. And before it was 15 minutes, get in the store, get out because my back, my legs, oh, everything was killing me. Um, wonderful, wonderful stamina. So the, the health benefits, of course, I'm off all my drugs. I told you um, high blood pressure pills, metformin for diabetes, all of that is gone or in remission, I guess they call diabetes. It's never truly gone, okay? You always have it, but it's in remission. They say five to 10 years is what this uh, surgery buys you in terms of diabetes, but it may come back if you're not careful. So, uh, but that's five or 10 more years of my life that I might not have had otherwise. Blood pressure is terrific. As a matter of fact, it's a little on the low side, which is, it used to be super, super high. Uh, so, uh, to, and not to be taking medication and to have it a little on the low side is, is mind boggling. I don't understand the metabolic reasons for all of these things, but there are so many changes that go on with your body, metabolically speaking, that you'd have to be Sheldon Cooper or some sort of uh, scientist to figure it all out. Um, one thing I do struggle with, uh, seven months post-op is getting all of my calcium in. I'm really great at getting my multivitamin. Um, I take two a day, one in the morning and one at night. I have to take the calcium, of course, three times a day. And you can't take it within two hours of your multi. So you can figure out the math on that as difficult as it is. But then I also take a thyroid pill. And I can't take the thyroid within four hours of a multi or calcium to figure that one out. <laughs> so I absolutely have to take my thyroid. I don't function without it. And I have to take the multivitamin because that's all of my, you know, vitamins. The one that always ends up suffering and falling behind is the calcium. So I usually get one or two doses in a day, but I don't get the third one. And that's, that's a dose of about 1500 milli MCGs a day. I take the petite calciums two at a time. So I take two in the morning, supposed to take two in the afternoon, and then two in the evening. But because of that thyroid and the fact that I take it in the evening, I usually don't get the third one in for sure. I mean, I've never really gotten that third one in. The most I get is two doses of calcium. So if anyone has any tips for how to manage getting all of those vitamins in, please leave them down below because I could sure use those, those tips. Um, I'm great with protein. I'm at about 70 grams of protein a day, sometimes less, sometimes more. My calorie range is around 1,100 calories a day. Uh, <clears throat> I was told actually not to count calories and um, my bariatric center is very against it. They're really into just counting protein and that's it. But old habits and old ways die hard and I still uh, track calories just because I use my fitness pal, which also I have been off the bandwagon on lately and haven't been as, um, as, you know, strict about it as I used to be. Um, I guess because life gets busy, you start losing weight, you start, um, thinking of other things in life. And that is where the risk of a downfall happens. You get so busy with other things in life that if you fall too far away from the rules, um, you, you really risk running into trouble. Um, I know a girl yesterday I watched on YouTube was saying that she figured out, um, I think it's Heavy Delight, I think was who I was watching, and she figured out that uh, she was drinking while she was eating. And that's definitely a rule that I try to st stick to. Don't drink while I eat. And even though you're supposed to wait 30 minutes afterwards, I probably manage 15. I do drink coffee. I know a lot of people say you shouldn't, but I do. There's a lot of rules that I break. And um, 
And you know what? I think that's okay. Everybody's different. Everybody learns and goes by their own feel of things. As long as I still continue to lose, I'll continue to do how I'm doing. When that stops or slows down drastically, then I know I have to change things up and really buckle down. Um, that's about it, guys. I don't want to ramble on too long. It's already at 10 minutes. But I am ecstatic to come with my seven-month post-op update. I'm hoping all of you are having a great January. Um, you know, two, 2015 is going to be a terrific year. I, I just feel it, you know. Last year, according to the Chinese calendar, it was the year of the horse. And that is what I am. I'm a horse by the Chinese zodiac. And I have a friend who's Chinese, and he's told me that his mother is extremely nervous whenever it's the, the year of the person in the family because uh, it means it's either going to be a great year or it's going to be a very, very bad year. And, you know, stay away from knives, stay away from... Well, it was my year, and I had surgery, and I went under the knife voluntarily and um, so far, knock wood, um, no complications, everything's going great. So obviously, 2014 was a great year for me. And I have a feeling 2015 is going to be even better. Now, my husband is having surgery, gastric sleeve, um, hopefully this summer. And my focus is going to end up shifting quite a bit from me to him. And that's normal. I, I would imagine anybody in my shoes would end up being the same in the same situation so you know I'm leaving it up to you guys to come in and keep me accountable and try to help me stay on track for me uh, because I will be focused on him a lot and I'm going to do an update with him again soon too so <clears throat> wow almost 100 pounds yay thanks for all your support guys um, I am gonna I see I'm at 160 something subscribers and you guys have meant the world to me so as soon as I get to 175 subscribers which I know isn't a round number uh, I am gonna do a giveaway so spread the news and uh, let people know and then when I get to 175 giveaway time from Ontario Canada I'll try and incorporate a few Ontario goodies or Canadian goodies if you will um, have a great week everybody and we'll see you next week. Bye.